to renew my passport just one of those fun things could be a little bit annoying but you got to do it especially if you want to travel i am going to be doing a makeup look that will look perfect for a passport photo or a government id photo i don't know what it is about passport photos i just find them so intriguing i think it's because you literally have like one shot to make it perfect the makeup needs to be snatched otherwise that one shot might fail you know what i mean let's begin we want our skin to be very glowy very hydrated so that in the photo that really shows through we refine glow and sculpt like i love how you can use it and roll it on your face tell me that's not the coolest thing ever I'm just gonna prep for this makeup look. I want to look even more glowy. So we're gonna be using the gloomy lotion from L'Oreal. I'm gonna be putting some of this on. Oh, we want the skin to be skinning. For the eyebrows, you don't want to go crazy. You do want them to still look natural, but I feel like eyebrows can make or break your face, especially in photo. I feel like the eyebrows is what makes a photo look symmetrical in terms of like a face card. This is the Refi brow sculpt. So I want that laminated look. Laminated look looks good in photos. Really brush out these eyebrow hairs and give me a super laminated finish. I'll do the same thing on this side. Luffy look, fluffy and laminated. I take the other end and I kind of like even it out i'm gonna take this it literally has like no label on it a brow angled brush kind of create a brow stroke i'm gonna just fill in any areas that i feel like are a little sparse i really don't know where this is from i'm gonna make them even more of a focal point by highlighting them with concealer and just really perfecting them but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put couple of concealer strokes on the top and bottom blend kind of create a line here and same thing here i'm going to be using this four in one glow so one thing you don't want to look caked if you look caked you don't look like yourself we want to look like the better version of ourselves right so i'm going to be using this four in one glow from maybelline the product just kind of comes out from the top like that put that all over our face the perfect Makeup base, if you're looking natural yet glowy, we're just gonna begin to be blending that into our skin. It feels like skin, you're not gonna feel cakey at all, like you're gonna feel like yourself, and, and that's why I love it. And it really gave me a glow. I mean, come on, stunning. I'm going to take the Lancome Time Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. A lot of you guys ask what shade I'm in. I'm in the shade Buff. And we're gonna create a lifting motion with this concealer. We wanna look lifted in our passport photos. So in order to do that, you just gotta create a lifting motion with everything, with your concealer and here, here. What I like about using a brush, by the way, is how much you can control how the concealer is setting. So don't worry if it's not perfect. For that, we're gonna go in a beauty blender, but I like to use a precision flat brush like this that can really define movements for where the concealer is kind of flowing, if that makes sense. Then we can go in with our beauty blender and really blend it in. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta and we're gonna begin baby sculpting. Now, do a kitty day. And really see where that sculpting line is supposed to go and i want it to go in as much as i can i really want to see how far we could take it see the forehead a large forehead just because i'm an aquarius rising apparently all aquarius risings have big foreheads it's like a known tree we want to snatch this jawline make like an angled kabuki and begin to blend that it kind of just like sets it in instead of blending it so that it stays in place so now the contour is really defined i do want to do my nose area so i take a little bit on this kind of a brush and we're going to begin to contour the nose so i do want the nose to be really defined be blending it out with another brush and then to make that come really stick out i'm going to be putting a little bit of concealer just to these areas here to make that nose contour very defined 
So as you guys can see, that made my nose look more narrow. I'm gonna be taking the bronzing side of the Patrick Tom. I'm just gonna begin to bronze up our face. Begin to like really warm everything up. Same thing here. I'm gonna take a smaller brush like this, take the bronzing part and set that contour into place. If it looks a little much, you can also do some blending. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Milk Chubby Pen and I'm gonna add a little bit of even extra right there just to make the contour really stick out. See what I mean? Like I'm saying here, my Givenchy. This is just gonna give us that airbrush look. Set the un under eyes, but we're gonna bake because we want this to look flawless. And in order to make the contour really pop, we're gonna be putting that powder underneath a little bit here on the forehead. No oily business happening here. We're we'll taking this makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer and begin to put that on my eyes. And I'm gonna start creating like a lifting motion. Again, guys, remember, it's all about that lift for these photos. So create that lifting motion. I'm going to be using a brown liner. Nothing crazy, but I do want a slight wing just so that we can look very symmetrical in the eye area. And I feel like a wing does help with that. We need to set the shadow. So I'm going to be using this from Too Faced. I'm taking the shade Buttercream. I'm going to be setting that eyeshadow like that. And we're going to be putting that all over our eyelid just like that. And you want to create that lifting effect. Everything's lifted here. The liquid liner. I'm nervous about this. I'm just going to create a line like that. Slightly. Bring it back in. And I'm only doing half a line. I'm not going to bring the liner into the rest of my lid. I'm just doing this for symmetric purposes. The point of fast part photo is looking very symmetrical. That I think that a wing helps with that. This is a brown liquid liner, by the way, because I do want it to look more natural. You just got to follow the eyebrows and take the powder off of your face. And you guys will see how the powder makes a difference. Like, look at that. It completely airbrushed my face. Like, we look so airbrushed it's insane i want the bronziness to be a little more out i'm just going to take a little bit of the bronzer and bronze up my skin a little more perfect and then i'm going to be using my current favorite blush shade it's the fenty beauty cool berries 09 just take a little bit of that and we're going to be putting it on the apples of our cheeks i did put a lot on just because i want <laughs> i want the blush to really show through when we take that photo for the passport. After that, I take my blending brush, seep it into the skin. So, so I'm gonna take this tinted moisturizer blush from Laura Mercier, and I'm just gonna put a little dot. We can never have enough blush, okay? Just begin to blend that in, because this gives a more glowy effect, which is kind of what I want. Now, to set the blush in place, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Cloud Crush. It's my favorite. It's all I honestly use. It smells so, so good. And then, last but not least, we are gonna be doing highlight, because I just think the highlight's gonna make the look super pretty. I feel like highlight just always looks good in photos. So I'm putting a little bit on my nose, a little on the highest points of my cheeks. Take a blender brush, blend it in. So this is going to really make my nose look so, so good. I love having freckles and I naturally do have freckles, but I want them to show in my photo. So I'm going to take my freck stick like this and we're going to begin to put it all over. I like to just take my finger and blend in. I'm taking my eyelash curler. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. And I swear this just always makes the biggest difference in my lashes and just makes them look so much more like really pop. I don't really see the dramatic effect right now. Like, that's crazy. But I'm going to take my Lancome Definis Definicio's mascara. This is like a very natural mascara. I'm going to take my mascara and aim my lashes to go outward. I find that this looks best in photos. It creates like a almost cat eye effect and it's gonna create that symmetry that we want in the passport photo. Like look at this eye and look at this eye. You see like it's, they're all flowing towards the wing. Now, same thing on this side. Taking my mascara and pushing it outwards. You know what's crazy? I was just thinking about I remember the day I got my passport, the one that I have right now and it was in 2014. I remember being like, oh my God, my passport renewal is going to be in 2024 and in my head i was like damn in 2024 i'm probably going to be married with kids back then when you're younger you think like by the time you're like 22 you're married with kids obviously times have changed 
but I am engaged to actually now be in 2024. And I, I remember when I got that passport done in 2014, I was with my mom and I was like, just thinking, oh my God, 2024 is so far away. Like, I wonder how much my life is going to change in 10 years. It's been a full decade, guys. I remember like it was yesterday. It's just the craziest thing. Let's do the lips. I'm going to take off what I'm wearing. Sharp. This is MAC Half Red. What I love about this specific color is that it looks stunning on Bernat. It's really stunning. I just find that it really brings out my features. Also, you want to opt in for a lip liner that's a little darker than your lip color just so that you can create that lip contour and so that the lip contour is like really defined in the photo. I just think that looks best when it comes to these kind of pictures. I'm going to begin to outline. Okay, just like that and then I kind of take the color and I blend it into my lip and then I'm gonna go in with this hangover pillow balm This is a lip treatment in the shade of kiss a and I love this combo I just think it looks so good and this combo like really makes your lips pop So in the photo the lips are going to pop I Take this Too Faced makeup insurance 18 hour wear I'm gonna spray Oh my god, our makeup looks so perfect. This is the finished look for the passport photo. I feel like it looks very symmetrical. My eyebrows look symmetrical. My eyes look very symmetrical. Nose, the lips, everything looks symmetrical. So this is going to really help with getting that perfect passport photo. I think we're going to get a good passport photo in. Thinking like, in my head, I'm like overthinking what face to make and I also need to make sure that my freaking baby hair is chill and that there's no hair on my face I think this is a good face just serious you know I will show you guys the photo in the end of this video definitely recommend using a lot of the techniques that I mentioned in this video if you want to nail your passport photo use lifting techniques use techniques that really make your makeup look symmetrical your eyes nose lips everything like that hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below like share and subscribe if you are new I love you guys so so much like you don't even understand you guys are my favorite platform I always feel so much love from you guys so thanks again for all the love and support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.